All right, so before we get into it, first things first, Merry Christmas Eve to everybody out there who celebrates the holiday. We are officially less than one day away from Christmas, and I'm super, super excited about it. This year, I got some really nice presents for everybody, you know, my brother, my parents, my girlfriend, my grandma, my dog, so on and so forth, and I can't wait to see their reactions. It's gonna be awesome. So that's the first thing. Number two, the official Dokkan Twitter page recently posted the animations as well as the details for the upcoming Prime Battle LR, Babidi and Boo, and of course, the Dual Dokkan Fest, Janemba, and PyCon. So in today's video, we're gonna start by doing a live reaction to all the animations, see what they look like, and then pop over to the Twitter page of the Homie Koresh for their English translated details. Okay, of course, a huge shout out and thank you to the homie Goresh for all of his hard work. And uh, with all that said, let's start by watching the Bobbity and Boo's animations first. I'm gonna pop on some headphones. We're gonna go to the very beginning. And here we go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's super clean, like very, very clean. And <laughs> that face, man. Yo, Bobby's face and then followed by Boo's face. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yo, like super clean animations. And this is a free to play unit, right? Like you gotta keep that, keep that in mind. It's not summonable. You don't gotta spend stones for them. You just gotta spend some time, grind some medals and they're yours. And I know recently they've been doing a really good job with like free to play units in general, but it still kind of catches me off guard every time I see a free-to-play animation that's this nice. And you know what? Wait, one thing I love about Dokkan is like they're not afraid to have fun. Like this is a super fun animation. And yo, I love it. I love it. So that's perfect. Good start to the video. Let me know in the comments down below, of course, what you guys think about that. But it's it's awesome to me. Now let's move on to the Janemba here. I, well, actually, I think it's Janemba. Um, I believe it goes Janemba, then PyCon. So for the Janemba, we did see the active skill as well as the super Janemba animations during the Jump Festa stream, but we haven't seen what fat Janemba does, what he looks like by himself. So let's check it out. Yo! <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Before we go any further, low key, I think I'm no high key actually. High key, I like the fat Janemba's animation better than the Super Janemba. I can't lie, I can't lie. Like, like Super Janemba is great. Super Janemba's animations are super super dope. But fat Janemba, like that is that is such a sick animation, man. I always felt like I always felt like that movie does. Like I don't know what's called, like what you want to call it, but. You know, like the, the dimension punch or portal punch or whatever, where he like punches through space and then his like hand comes out of somewhere else, right? Kind of like the portal gun effect. Um, and then him like beating the crap out of Goku. Like that is such a dope attack, man. I love it. Yo, Vaginemba. Finally getting the love he deserves. Finally getting, getting the respect he deserves. And uh, I'm here for it, man. I'm here for it. Okay, anyways. Let's continue with the active skill now and also Super Janemba.
yeah, overall, awesome animations, but <laughs> Fat Janemba for me is the best one. It really is, man. I can't wait to see like different characters in the animation too. Like right now it's Goku, but imagine like, I don't know, like Broly in there or like Goku Black in there or like a great ape in there or something like that. That's going to be hilarious. By the way, the sound this active skill makes is gross. Okay, that is like one of the grossest animations in the game for sure. I don't know. It just makes me, it makes me uncomfortable, man. Like especially this part right here where you got like all these like, I don't know, like these squiggly things going on like yeah this part right here man like i don't know it's just it just it irks me it's still cool it's still cool it's just a little bit disturbing to me that's all anyways janemba looks awesome and finally let's take a look at our boy pycon now of course we've seen the partner super attack but we haven't seen pycon solo in action Hold on. Am I the only one that didn't know that Pycon had an active skill? I swear, no, I swear only Janemba had an active skill. I thought it was Janemba has the active skill, but no partner super attack, and Pycon has the partner super attack, but no active skill. I guess Pycon has both. So is PyCon automatically the better unit? I mean, he has an active skill and also a partner super attack. Janemba only has the active skill. I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, honestly though, like I just, I didn't know. I had no idea. I don't know if I missed it during the stream or something like that, but this is actually news to me. Let's go back a little bit. Let's watch it one more time. It's pretty dope. It's, it's actually pretty awesome. Okay, here we go. Okay, so needless to say, like, obviously I love the partner super attack, right? Like, it's it's Gogeta, you got the Goku and Vegeta in the background fusing, and then, you know, the Soul Punisher, and Pycon does his attack. It's great. Nothing to not like. But um, one thing I did notice, actually, is that instead of a Gogeta on rotation, in this example here, they have Goku and Vegeta, right? Specifically, the Angel Goku and Angel Vegeta from... Uh, the fizz you know kotita unit right so i i i originally thought it was going to be you know super gogeta required on rotation but i guess it's going to be goku and vegeta instead which would actually kind of limit the options a little bit no i mean if, if it's specifically that unit then it's only going to be one option right um but maybe they would just make it like any goku and vegeta or maybe like any Angel Goku and any Angel Vegeta separately or something like that. We'll have to see. I mean, I'm not going to say anything else because we have the details coming up. So let's uh, leave here. Uh, PyCon looks pretty cool, by the way. But obviously, I mean, <laughs> the partner super attack is way better. And uh, let's pop over to the homie Gresh's page. Uh, shout out to him once again. Here's the uh, detail for the Bobbity and Boo. Let me actually just remove my face cam here. So you guys can see the entire screen. Okay, so we got LR, Bobbity, and Boo. Uh, Fizz type LR. Uh, leader skill is Majin Buu Saga, category key plus four. HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. Super attack, 12 key, causes colossal damage with a medium chance to seal super attacks and a medium chance to stun. And then the 18 key causes mega colossal damage with a medium chance to seal super attacks and medium chance to stun. So it seems like they uh, both have the exact same effect, except for the fact that the 18 key, of course, is mega colossal damage. And passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40,000, and an additional key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 30,000. 
if attacking an enemy who is in attack down, defense down, stunned, or sealed status and performs an additional attack, it has a medium chance to become a super attack. Recovers 5% HP at the end of the turn in which attack is received. Wow. Wow, that is a huge boost, man. P plus 6 and attack and defense plus 70,000. I mean, even, even if it's a flat boost, that's a huge flat boost. Like, these guys are going to be hitting pretty damn hard, especially because they have the medium chance to additional super. Wow. Okay, so, and they also heal too. 5% healing after taking an attack. And, um, you know, it's a great thing that they can also proc their own um, additional boost, right? So they can seal and they can stun. Uh, I think medium chance is around 25 to 30%. So, damn. That's... <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, links are Master of Magic, Thirst for Conquest, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, Shatter the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Majibu Saga, Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, and Inhuman Deeds. Awesome, awesome free to play LR right there. And now we have the Janemba. Okay, so starting with the Fat Janemba, leader skill is Mind and Body Erosion. Okay, so this is a new category for sure. Mind and Body Erosion. Interesting name. Key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%, or extreme class key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. So just one category, but I like this 130% uh, extreme leader skill. That's for all extreme types, so you can build some very versatile teams with this Janemba, even if this category is you know very limited. Um, obviously, because you can add any extreme class unit on your team. Um, that's a great leader skill right there. His super attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%. Guard activated against all attacks. Wow. So he's automatically going to be a very good defensive unit. Uh, extreme class allies key plus 2. Attack and defense plus 30%. If 4 or more type key spheres are obtained. So basically not counting rainbow key spheres. 4 or more key spheres and you get key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 30% for all extreme types, and then damage reduced by 30% if two or more rainbow key spheres are obtained. And then you have the active skill transformation, which can be activated once five attacks have been received once only. And his links are the innocence, more than meets the eye, metamorphosis, master of magic, nightmare, big bad bosses, and fierce battle. And categories are mind and body erosion, movie bosses, and transformation boost. And uh, once you transform into Super Janemba, his super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 180%. Randomly changes one type of key spear into either one other type of key spear or rainbow. And gains an additional attack plus 40% when collecting three or more type key spheres. High chance to evade enemy attacks when collecting a rainbow key spear. So it looks like as long as you collect even one rainbow key sphere, then he gets a high chance to dodge, which is pretty nice. But at the same time, you can't get the additional attack boost then, because you only get that when you're collecting type key spheres. So, interesting. It looks like they make you choose between two different effects, and I guess you would you know, go with either one depending on the situation. So like, if you need to be a little bit more defensive, then you would, you know, try to get rainbow key spheres. If you, you know, want to go a little bit more offensive, then you go for the type key spheres. And in terms of his links, the innocent, more than meets the eye, master of magic, become shocking speed, brutal beatdown, and fear and faith. So that is Janemba overall looking really, really good to me. Yeah, he looks like he's going to be a very strong unit, both offensively and defensively. And um, I always like units that have a good balance between the two. And we also kind of have a new mechanic going on here, you know, like where we have to choose between two different effects depending on the type of key sphere we get, like whether it's rainbow or type key spheres. I mean, it's a little bit similar to the uh, Fizz LR Broly trio, not exactly the same, but kind of reminds me of that. And um, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely interesting. I mean, of course, I would have preferred to just like get all of these effects at once, but um, I guess they thought. This was a little bit more balanced. Anyways, let's move on to the PyCon here. Uh, leader skill is Connected Aspirations. Obviously, another new category, Q plus 3. 
HP, attack, and defense plus 170%, or super class, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn, and causes immense damage, and greatly lowers attack. And his unit super attack, or partner super attack with Gogeta, is called the Otherworld Master, and the Fused Warrior greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, effective against all... It says attacks here, I'm pretty sure he means types, and greatly lowers attack. And the condition is it can be activated if there is a character whose name includes or contains Goku Angel or Vegeta Angel attacking in the same turn. Interesting, okay, so you just need one of them. It's not specifically like, you know, LR, Goku, and Vegeta, or anything like that. As long as you have one of these characters or one of these names included in the unit, then you should be good to go. Awesome. Moving on to his passive, it's attack and defense plus 150%, super class allies key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 30% when collecting 3 or more type key spheres, gains an additional key plus 4, and high chance to evade enemy attacks and seal the attacked enemy super attack when collecting a rainbow key sphere. Damn, okay, so he's getting up to attack and defense plus 180% with the support, or he can get up to key plus 4, attack and defense plus 150%, but also a high chance to dodge and also guaranteed seal with the rainbow key sphere. That looks really good. And then we have his active skill, which I didn't even know was going to be a thing. And the condition is able to be used after 4 turns from the start of battle when there is one enemy whose HP is 50% or higher. And the effect skips one targeted enemy's attacking turn. Okay, so basically it's like a free Ghost Usher, from what I can tell. I mean, I guess it would have been the same thing as just giving him guaranteed dodge that turn, but... This is interesting, man. I mean, it's basically a brand new mechanic. There's no other unit in this game right now. No other active skill that has this exact effect. I like it. Uh, and his links are Supreme Warrior, Gentleman, Experienced Fighters, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, Otherworld Warriors, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Connected Aspirations, Movie Heroes, Worthy Rivals, Otherworld Warriors, Saviors, and Battle of Wits. Okay, so... There is the Pycon, and we went over the Janemba, and in terms of who I like better right now, honestly, I think I might like Pycon a little bit more. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm biased just because, you know, there's the Gogeta, and I just really enjoy watching that animation. I mean, that definitely could be part of it. Oh, by the way, let me uh, pop back in here real quick. So yeah, it definitely could be a little bit of a bias towards the Gogeta, but I mean, I just love the fact that you don't have to wait for any kind of transformation or anything like that, and this guy gets guaranteed seal and high chance to evade immediately, as long as you collect one Rainbow Key Sphere. And then of course, he also has the support, he gets a good amount of attack and defense to start, he's got the uh, extra active skill that is basically a free Ghost Usher, it's going to be super clutch for you know, Extreme Super Battle Road, and any other hard event in this game. And, um, yeah, he looks really good, man. I mean, Janemba looks great too, but I think I have a slight preference for Pycon, believe it or not. I mean, I didn't think I would feel this way when I first heard about the units or the characters specifically, but I'm kind of more excited about Pycon, man. I really am. I mean, I want Janemba too, like both of them are basically a must, but if I had to choose one right now, I think I'm slightly on the side of Pycon. If like we had to choose teams or something like that, I think I might be team Pycon. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, uh, that is going to be today's video, guys. A big shout out to Goresh once again. For the translations, there are the details for Pycon for Janemba, and also LR Bobbity and Boo. Let's end things off here on our boy PyCon's animations. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. 
to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.